Hello, welcome to English Town pronunciation course lesson 19. I'm Zach from English Town. Now, in Vietnamese, words only have one syllable, but that's totally different in English. They can have up to 10 syllables. For example, in Vietnamese, và ăn đếc cần gì như ngoài em. But in English, for example, English language, two words but four syllables. So let's look into it a little bit more. This is how we stress syllables. When we stress a syllable, we pronounce that syllable louder, longer, with more emphasis. Here's an example. This word, ability. Where's the stress? Ability. That's right, B, because it's louder and longer with more emphasis. Another example is this word, university. Where's the stress? That's right, ver, so it's pronounced louder, longer with more emphasis. Here are six common rules that I want to present to you. The first rule, when working with two-syllable nouns or adjectives, then we put this word stress on the first syllable. For example, English, major, clever. All of these adjectives or nouns where the stress is in the first syllable. Secondly, when it comes to two-syllable verbs, we usually put the stress on the second syllable. For example, submit, decide, prepare. As you can see, the stress is on the second syllable. For the third rule, when it comes to three-syllable words or above, we're going to add the stress on the third syllable counting backwards from the end. For example, beautiful. One, two, three. Full, T, bu. So bu is going to have the stress. Photograph. One, two, three. So fo in this case. Rule number four. When it comes to words ending with IC, we add the stress on the syllable just before. For example, historic. To has the syllable stress. Economic. Nom has the stress. Graphic. Rule number five. For words ending in T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, or C-I-A-N, these words, we're going to put the stress on the syllable just before these letters. For example, Vision. So, bij has the stress. Pollution. So, lu has a stress. Magician. J has a stress. And last rule, rule number six. For this one, it's very simple. Words that have prefixes or suffixes don't change the stressing of the word. For example, if we add the suffix al to the word music, we have musical, but the stress doesn't change. It's still on the syllable mu. When adding a prefix, like on the word interesting, uninteresting doesn't change the stress, so the stress is still on in. So now I'm going to say some words and let's see if you can guess where is the stress, which syllable in the word. First word, information, information, that's right, mation. Next, vegetables, vegetables, that's right. Veg is louder, longer, with more emphasis. Now, there are three syllables. It's a common misconception that it's vegetables, 
and that's a mistake. My students always make the mistake. They think vegetables is four syllables, vegetables, but really it's three, vegetables. All right. What about this word, economy? That's right. Ka is louder, longer, with more emphasis. Now sentence practice. I won the competition and received a present. I won the competition and received a present. I won the competition and I received a present. We need to prepare a lot before signing this contract. We need to prepare a lot before signing this contract. We need to prepare a lot before signing this contract. This pandemic will lead to serious economic issues. This pandemic will lead to serious economic issues. Oh my God, this pandemic will lead to serious economic issues. Don't feel stressed if you think it's still difficult. With practice, it will be easy. See you next time. Photographer. Fur. Draw. So, so tell me the third one. We're gonna add the stress here.